wow, I've got a surprise video to make today. Not for you, but for me. So I have secured a credible trade deal over Twitter and I've got to put this package together, get it out overnight into the gentleman that I'm doing the trade with. It's my biggest trade ever and this is going to be a lot of fun to track, show off the cards that are going out and what I'm getting returned. Stay tuned for that. What's going on? Bowman1951 here. So yeah, as I stated in the intro, I'm about to do the biggest trade of my sports collecting career. So what you have out in front of you are nine slabs. We're going to go over these and what I'm going to be giving up for in return. So let's give you a little brief background here. So this is a lot of fun just in terms of who I'm dealing with. So I was out on Twitter about a week ago and saw a monster pool, a football RPA out of five for one of my favorite players. So you can stick around till the end of the video to see the card once I have it in hand, but those are uh, some hints. So I've talked to some friends and be like, hey, what do you guys think of this? Uh, they love the patch. The auto might be a bit streaky. I don't really care. So I didn't even respond to the guy's post. I started to reach out via DM and said, hey, I see you're looking for some Tom Brady in return. Can we work out a deal? So throughout this week, we've been talking through some cards that I had to offer. And uh, he's chosen nine Tom Brady slabs, all in tens. Now, if you follow my channel, you know I'm a huge Tom Brady collector. I've got over 500 unique Tom Brady's. I think I'm approaching 100 slabs at this point. A bunch of these I got back in my latest PSA video. Uh, they were out there for 14 months, and I know about four or five cards within the stack are from that order. So they were supposed to be PC cards, but hey, when you are looking to upgrade to a, a gigantic card for your collection, you're willing to give up some PC. So I'm, you know, never entrenched enough where there's maybe three or four cards in my entire collection that are untouchable. The rest I'd be willing to negotiate. So I've got no cash outlay here involved, which is great. Yeah, this is about to go down. I'm heading off to the post office right after I'm done recording this video. These cards are gonna go out via Priority Mail Express. We agreed to an official insurance amount on both ends to cover our butts. Yeah, let's get in these cards while I'll explain it a little bit more. So here's what we're looking at in terms of those nine slabs. The gentleman that we're working with, he is a minor league pitcher in the Kansas City Royals organization. His name is Daniel Tillo. Here is uh, his feed and some of the details about him. Again, we've been working over DM the last week, just trying to narrow down exactly what we wanted, what we thought was fair in return. So up here first, an SGC 10 2013 Panini Prism, Brady. Got the two prisms he wants back to back. These are just the base cards, they're not silvers. This is the 2017 version. Kind of put them in more of like a, uh, a value order here. Got an early 2004 Topps Chrome. I think this is an insert of the 2003 weekly wrap up. I don't even know the worth of these. I didn't look up these two coming up. They're both out of 2017 Phoenix. I was sort of collecting that set for a while. And this one is going to be out of 149. Let's get this to focus here. There we go. So that's the purple version. Another refractor finish on these. I am a big fan of pinks. Baseball cards, football cards, whatever it is. I love pinks. Another 2017 Phoenix. And we are looking at 199 on this one. So he's getting the 149, the 199, both PSA 10s. Again, every card in here is a PSA 10 because when you got to sweeten a deal, in order to get what you want in return. Now this one's great. It's just a base card of 2008 Bowman Chrome, but this has a gem rate that is super low. I think it was below 20%. There's only 11 gem mint 10s out there. Reason being because of these black borders, but you can see how beautiful this card is. And I feel like I self submitted this one very recently. I can't 100% remember because I've got so many Chrome cards of Brady. Oh man, that one is a super tough gem. I think out of all the cards, that might be one of my see the saddest go out of these. 
Next up, I know I've featured this one a few times, have had some conversations about it. This is the Tom Brady Gold out of Tops. This is my favorite Tops card from Brady. So I've got a bunch of these. I've got the, the blue out of 349. I've got the chrome of this. I've got the base. And as you know, these are numbered based on the year they come out. So we're looking at 1706 out of 2010 on this one. So while I'm sad to see that PSA goal, I did want to show you I have an SGC 10 of the same card here. So I've started conversations in the past. I put up these two together saying, you know, which one would you rather have? We've had some interesting conversations about that. You know how much I love this 2010 version and I've got one in my backup. That is a pop seven between SGC and PSA and I own two of those seven. So that's pretty cool. Finally, we've got two refractors. Let's start with this one here. We've got a 2014. I know I submitted both of these in my last order. These were ComC raw pulls, probably at the end of 2019, early 2020, and they finally just returned. Great one there. And we've got the 2015. Beautiful refractor finish. Uh, I don't have many Gem Mint 10s and refractors, but again, if you wanna make a sweet deal and get a card in return, you're gonna have to give up those cards that you truly value. So that's gonna be the end of this part of the video. I'm off to drop these off in the mail now, get that all squared away. I want them to have it within the next day or two. So let's move on to the next part of the video. Hopefully I'll have my card in hand within the next day or two and we will finish this off. Talk to you soon. All right, it's a big beautiful package just about to go out at the post office now, let's head on in. days later i think i just heard the doorbell could it be could it be uh just need a signature yes. for this oh, sorry the, it's right. not a stylus it's a pen i need oh, okay. filled out on the back here great we're back that was legitimate footage me signing for this particular package out here in front of us I mentioned before is an RPA of one of my favorite players and gee, I wonder if it's a dead giveaway for what's in the background. Let's just go over that quickly. There's not a ton of Mac Jones right now to collect. So I started with some low numbered Prism draft stuff right around the beginning of September before all the hype picked up. You've got the gold out of 10 here. The white sparkle we believe is a print run of 20. Got the base card and a white sparkle and this black and gold I self-submitted out of five. So let's go ahead and get into this package and see what we've got. I already took a peek. I didn't want to open it up and be, I don't know, completely dejected that I got taken by somebody in a trade. I didn't really expect that with Daniel having the blue check mark on Twitter. I didn't even ask for vouchers or anything. I just trusted him the whole way and he felt the same with me. Again, this was sent to me by Priority Mail Express. See that here. It ended up taking actually three days with the weekend and not wanting delivery on a Sunday. So Friday to Monday evening is when he saw me signing for that package. Things are a little slower around the holidays. I'm just opening this up off camera. I want to get it out of the sleeve and everything. Also have a stand for it. We'll put that out here in front. All right. So without further ado, the biggest trade of my collecting journey. I said career earlier. I don't have a job that goes along with this. So that was kind of silly, but here we go. I think I'm most in love with the patch on this card. There she is, the rookie premiere, absolute four of five with this beautiful, you would call it the wing of the Patriots insignia. So I have seen, I'm gonna put it up on screen now, the matching card of this out of five, and then you've got the, like the chin of Pat Patriot there. So that patch, you know, that's probably the goat patch out of all these five. But hey, I am very extremely happy with this one. I bet all of these are beautiful and I've only seen those two surface. $3,601 is what this sold at auction back right before Thanksgiving. So I value this one maybe a little less. I think the hype is, has gone down just a tad from that point when it peaked. You got a bit of streakiness here in the auto. 
I'm still going back and forth of what I want to do with this in terms of grading. I thought about just sending it out to be authenticated with PSA, given there are eight corners on a thick card. I'm guessing it's not going to be any better than a PSA 8. And then with the streakiness there, I'm a little concerned about it also not getting an auto 10 grade. I don't know. I'm up in the air. For $100, maybe I'll test it for a grade first just to see what happens. And if I'm not happy with it, I could always send it back and re-authenticate it. But this one's going to be probably in my collection for a long time. I gave up cards that I had self-submitted to PSA and was very happy with the grades. But... I didn't sink a lot of money into those. There was no cash outlay to grab this uh, from Daniel. So all in all, I think both sides were very happy with our trades in the end. I've still got plenty of Tom Brady in my collection. And now I've got one of the best autographs in my collection. For a guy that doesn't really collect autographs, this one truly excited me for who Mac Jones is and the potential he has for the Patriots franchise future. So thanks again for coming along for the ride to see that massive trade I pulled off. I can't envision doing many more in the future that big because I'll have to be giving up a lot in return. I just don't have a lot of cards that are four figures in value. So if I want something that is on the back end, I'm going to end up either giving up a lot of quantity or truly giving up something that I don't really want to like some of my Tom Brady rookie cards. We will see you at the next video. Good luck to the Mac Jones and the Patriots as they look to close out the season and head on into the playoffs. The sky's the limit for this kid. I love watching him. I think he is a great general on that field and just really excited to see what the future has in store. Bowman 1951, out. Wow, I can't believe I just pulled a kaboom. Let's go. Shout out to Jim. Jim Jordan, you're a good dude. Thanks for hooking me up with the old hobby. TJ Watt. What do we got here? Tools of the trade. Looks like a relic. Michael Pittman Jr. I like Pittman. Don't sleep on Pittman's game. He's solid. Colts just, they run the ball so much. It, he's still been a solid fantasy option. We got a Mac Jones in the back. This is numbered out of 49. We have a Mac Jones. Oh. Mac Jones, guys. Guys, Mac Jones. Oh my gosh, number 405. <laughs> oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. Oh my gosh. Oh my 405 Mac Jones rookie premiere. Absolute auto with the Patriots, the end of the logo. I did not think that was an auto. Oh my God, what a box.